At Makerspace CT, we respond to gaps in our education system through real-world engineering experience for Hartford youth. One of the ways we do this is through a program called NextWave. In NextWave, our students learn the design process from ideation to manifestation. They do this through a program called NX, a computer-aided design program, and 3D printing at Makerspace CT's state-of-the-art manufacturing facility. My name is John Lebron and I go to Hartford Public High School. I've always liked problem solving. I've always been like the one in my household to like fix whatever has been broken and this has really helped me explore that path. We were uh, assigned to make something that would clip onto the bottom of these workbenches and me and the other student had an idea to have something clip and like hang to put objects inside. This really showed me how to overcome my problems and to not stop because something went wrong. We were trying to make it so that the person didn't struggle, like this can be applied anywhere. Students learn design skills, troubleshooting skills, they learn to work together in a team environment, and they learn the value of failure and iteration. They learn to develop a thick skin. My name is Brittany Slower and I go to Hartford Public High School. Here at Makerspace CT, we make models and we take real dimensions and then we print them out on 3D printers. 3D printers don't always work perfectly or how you want them to. Sometimes you don't have the right settings for that specific project, which can cause the project to mess up. We have learned how to go back and how to fix them, and we watched videos on how to correctly fix certain problems so that they don't happen again. This is a base that I made on NX where we had to sketch out different bases on different datum planes, and then we connected them to make the curves. CAD is something that I've never done before, and it's something that I found very interesting. It's fun, and it opens their minds to new opportunities in the engineering field and possible career paths in manufacturing and STEM. My name is Shiali, and I go to Hartford Public High School. Me and a fellow classmate worked on a design which would help all around the entire building with storage and tools. The process of designing was pretty extensive in the way that I had to take many measurements before I could come up with even a base to start with. It worked pretty well at first and through that I figured out ways that I could personally improve it and shape it into a better product. Being able to do all of these things and learning it now in this opportunity was really helpful for me and thinking about the future and all of the future job opportunities that I might be taking. In Connecticut, we need a technically skilled workforce. That need is right now. We are committed to engaging the youth and giving them that first critical step that will lead them on the path to a STEM career. Hi, I'm Rahalia and I'm an intern assistant at Makerspace CT. The program took place here at Makerspace in the classroom and now my current project is working on making a model of that classroom. I started by making a model of the actual classroom with all the walls and the floors and then I later went into the details by making the computers, um, towers, keyboards and all the details you see here. So I make sketches from different views of the objects and take measurements of them, use those measurements and the drafts to create 3D models in NX. This fall, I'll be going to college as a civil engineering major and being a part of this program and having this experience has reaffirmed the fact that this is something I like to do as a career or even just as a hobby. Hello, my name is Brandy Martinez. I'm working on assemb um, assembling all these pieces in the distal fab. I went into the shop and I measured from top to bottom. Uh, you had to have specific um, measurements on each different cuts of the chairs. 
and they had different shapes and sizes of different pieces. In the future, I want to become an engineer and this is something I want to do and pursue in the future. And I think this helped me a lot. Hi, my name is Alonzo Williams and I was a part of the CAD readiness program here at Makerspace CT. What I did was I was tasked with going out, modeling the, some 3D models of actual things that are inside some of the shops that are here. So two of the bigger machines that I worked on were the Haas milling machine and the finger brick. With modeling in NX, I have sketches of what I've sketched for each machine and what other people have sketched for the machine to just get a total, uh, make a sketch, extrude, make cuts, try to get the details down right. With all the things that I've learned here, definitely being able to use CAD again and learning more things about CAD, definitely some things I didn't know before. It was all very helpful and although not all people are gonna find CAD interesting, I did and it was nice to be able to come here and explore it more. Although I am going to school for computer science in the fall, I do think CAD and knowing how to do this is a skill I will hold dear for a while. What is up you guys? So my name is Rodrigo and I'm from the CAD readiness program. This is a tubing notcher that I did. I took in all the shapes, so like I took in kind of ability, the shapes, the little shapes, and I put them on here and named them. Put everything, the thickness of it, how long, the width, the height. It is really interesting for me. I really like it. I really like enjoy doing it, but I'm also like still also debating if I should take this as a career, which it opens up another door to like a new experience. Maybe it's something that I'm gonna do in the future. Maybe it's not, but Makerspace really gave me a good opportunity by letting me come here and do 3D models of their machines.